Here's a demonstration of two meteorites that I have recovered out from North Carolina's Muddy Creek in Bethania, North Carolina. The magnet and two meteorites. But you see, you put the first one in, there, sticks to it, and it's got force. And then it's all over on this. It's very uh, low in iron. Um, but there, you put it right there too, it sticks. See, all that right there is all, that dark right here is all iron. See, all that right there is iron. There's some iron right in here too. There's an iron piece. See, it just sticks to that. And just wants to slide. But if you put it in, you know, and just all different types, areas. See, look, it's crazy because it won't pick up like that, right? But the force is in the stone. See, it's sliding. So you take that right there and you put it right there. Sticks. Sticks. You can see. It's just weird how it does, does like that. Then you take it sometimes and see. It's crazy because the force is in the stone. It just sticks it right to it. It's all over in here. It's, I mean, I thought I found me a Native American stone artwork, and look what I end up turning out to be a meteorite. And if you look, the thing is, the, look how big it is. And it's heavy. It's not heavy like your sandstones. And I never seen anything like this. Look at it, it just sticks right to it. It's, but it's low in iron. It's not high content like your typical iron pieces. But it definitely sticks. Definitely sticks to it. But it's like I said, it's your iron. It's just low, low in iron. See, look, I'm not, I'm not kidding. See? And then it slides right there, too. I mean, it's awesome. See the burning right there. Here's the burning down here. All that dark. But look. Still has its iron content. What makes it really interesting, too. I mean, you would think this, you know, from being out of space, it's awesome. Look at the shape. See, that's why I kept thinking that this was all worked by Native Americans because all this lines. But if you look, the lines doesn't even hit the, the top. It just, you know, it's just all around it. So I th kept thinking that these are veins. Because they're not tooled. And I ended up pulling this by mistake and not realizing what I just found was actually a meteorite. See, it just doesn't want to slide off of it. And look at that. It's the edge work on this, too. There it goes. See, just sticks right to it. Then you put this right on top. Look, right. doesn't even want to, it just hot, just, just sticks right there. You know, I got two meteorites that I found and not really is what I just found. It's probably my biggest one, my biggest meteorite to this date. I've never found one this big. and never knew I found a meteorite. You know, and look at the iron in that. See, right there is a big piece of iron. See the, the round right there? Look, bam, bam, boom. And then you put that right on it. Onto that magnet. And it's loaded with iron all over inside the stone. If you were to cut it, you're going to see a lot of interesting things inside the stone. 
Like I said, this is a whole, the whole rock in itself. The only thing is, is the bottom. All that heated. All that dark. And then you got dark around the edge right here. That's done by heat. So when you probably most likely touched through the atmosphere, it touched just like that. There we go. So and that's what you look at in a meteorite. And like I said, it is low in iron. And this is high, heavy in iron. Because it's got that real, it's got that pull. See? See the feel, the force. Yeah, that's the force of the, of the meteorite. There you go. Put it on that little piece right there. It's got that right there. I'm trying to get it off of that. See, I'm, it's so low. One's high in iron, one's low in iron. So it most likely it came from two different areas in space. Now they're realizing they're figuring out that these meteorites are coming from other planets in the solar system. And yeah, these things are a billion years old. So, you know, these are older, definitely older than me, <laughs> for sure. But when it landed in North Carolina, I don't know. But you know, it had to be sometime in the 1800s or maybe 1700s, or maybe before the Native Americans came. But I know this was found in the creek in my stone artwork site. And this one was found, this little small one was found in a field where I was looking for artifacts and came across a few good points. Started, and this was dug up. Yeah, but anyway, you know, I can lay it down and still hang and still on it. But anyway, if you take it off of there, take that small one off, look, it still sticks. And like I said, it still sticks to it. It's got a lot of iron. Like I said, it's got a lot of iron in it, but it's just low in content where this one can just pull but it takes all the weight. For that little small one, it's very heavy. And this one's heavy in weight, but it's not as heavy as this. So, you, you know, but still, it's a good find. And it's almost got that soapstone feel to it, but it's nice and really interesting. That's what made me feel like this was a Native American stone artwork at one time. And now realizing I found a meteorite. So all I could think about, man, for other people, when you look at your stones and you're finding strange ob objects or some sort of work in it, test it. Put a magnet to it. And you'll be surprised what you find. This, like I said, it was... A mistake or an accident to find this in my Native American stone artworks due to the lines in it that I was thinking that was a meteorite not a meteorite but uh, stone artworks with these veins that's what made this thing very interesting that having a big artifact like this in my apartment of a huge meteorite this is exciting I never expected to find something this big and I actually put it in my backpack and bring it home. That's intense. But I just wanted to show you, you know, that having one of these in your apartment <laughs> and not realizing it that I actually found a meteorite. See, I'm going to take it off like right there. See, look. 
see I could probably put it up there so you won't stick with it because like I said this is a low iron content and this is high so it's not going to stick in certain areas without pulling the magnet but see there it is so there's two meteorites right here that I just found one big one and one little small one the little small ones like I said is 3.5 kilograms so you have to realize this big one is going to have more weight to it than that um I wish I had a scale for this but unfortunately I don't but I just wanted to show y'all what I have